Welcome to a brand new season of Battle Damage. Today, we're addressing one of the biggest tech rivalries of all time, Mac versus PC. You've already picked a side because everyone who uses a computer is a Mac person or a PC person. Unless you're one of those Linux freaks, but we're not gonna talk about them. And thanks to suggestions from users Plasma Plays, Survivalist Scott, and Witza, we're going head to head with a MacBook Air versus a Surface Pro 3. Ultra portable machines have similar tech specs and both start around 900 bucks. But only the Surface can function as a laptop and a tablet thanks to its touchscreen and pen functionality. But only the MacBook Air can run both OS X and Windows. And let's be honest, it's a lot prettier. I guess the only way to settle this is to see which one is tougher. To the battle ring! You know, I played with this Surface I've never used them before. It's not that bad. It's the worst. Roll, action. Okay, this looks fine. This does have a little dent, and it doesn't maybe shut perfectly, but it still works fine. The surface is looking good. You know, it's funny that your MacBook Air has little dents because this thing looks flawless. It's got a kickstand, man. Yeah, which means you can only get one angle. Look at this, I have so many angles. Okay, oh. this is the most expensive single drop we've ever done. Oh God, okay, let's make this happen. Roll. Action! Oh. Doesn't look good. What's not on it totally are the keys. There we go. Okay, so $85 of the surface is destroyed. Whatever. It was like on for a second, but now it's totally broke. Okay, so maybe more than $85 is destroyed. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it seems to work fine. I mean, you get a pair of pliers, you bend that back, you could, uh, I mean, that just gives a character. So I think it's actually improved. It's gotten stronger. No, no. It doesn't, doesn't shut so good. But I think uh, the MacBook Air is moving on. Oh, wait. Does it Maybe. still work? Wait, wait. Yes! It seems to be working. So in further inspection, it looks like the Surface actually does work. So they're both gonna move on to the next round. Eric just doesn't know how to use it. For our third and final test, we're going back in time and making each device face its worst nightmare. Which for my PC is the dreaded blue screen of death. And for my MacBook, the spinning pinwheel of death. And to keep it interesting, we filled each one with 50 pounds of concrete. First up, the MacBook Air. Roll, action. Is it broken? Wow, it's so dented, but the internals still work. You could theoretically plug this into a monitor and a new keyboard. Okay. Still use it as a computer. This is impressive. All right, let's test the surface. <laughs> God. This is definitely the most awkward thing I think we've ever had to drop. Speed, roll, action. Surface. I mean, I just love that it swallowed it up. Oh, no. I still think it's gonna turn on. Oh my God, are you kidding? <laughs> oh, oh, there's a the screen. Uh, it does look like the surface is not turning on. But so the pen, I'm keeping that pen. This is this is what's left. Oh no, even the pen is broken. Crappily made. All right, looks like the MacBook Air has officially won. Well, there you have it. Now you know whether you should go Mac or PC. That is, if you're the kind of person who plans on dropping your computer from a crane 15 feet in the air. Totally irrelevant test. Sometimes stuff happens, man. What's the worst thing you've ever done to your computer? Let us know in the comments below. And hover your mouse over that subscribe button and firmly click so you don't miss our next episode.
gonna be a good one.